Hey, 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 Mike, Mike, come on, let's go stop bands. The way you look at me scares me. You, you're a very scared little boy. You, you're a bitch. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not being you. funny. Do you hate being happy? Excuse me. <laughs> do you hate? Do you hate being happy? You know. You need to study the concept of death. I dare you talk to me like that. You should, you should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> I'd also say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come uh, ready. You understand? Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> You punk-ass white boy, come in and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. You have to go. You have to go. You understand, right? Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Um, because sometimes my mind plays tricks on me and my mind tells me I'm a bitch. If you think you're a fly and you walk around the baddest man in the planet, why don't you fight that motherfucker? But why don't you just go right there and spit in his face? That guy right there. That's my mind. Fucks with me, nigga. Wow. Wow. You still got fire, man. Whoa. And I'm saying, why are you fucking with me? Leave me alone. I don't want to fuck with these people. Thank you, Mike. We will get to President Trump shortly. First, let's go now to another boxing legend joining us tonight. He's done as much in the ring as outside the ring. But he was a great man. And know what else? Right. Like? Only thing I didn't disagree, he never said he didn't like confrontation. No, he, he didn't was like not, confrontation. That surprised you in him. Yeah, and, he was I'm a great different, and, I, and I'm different. I go right for your throat. Oh, I know that. I just go right for you. Not only in fighting, but just in life, I just go right for your throat. Especially if it's, it's a point where you violated somebody else's feelings or mine. You know? So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, uh, Mike, what your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is it well, pre something yeah, that pretty much Well, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. I, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. What would you describe as the happiest time in your life, Mike? Um, I don't remember. If you want to know anything about him, you ask me. If I ever hear you, if I ever see you go next to my father again, you have a problem. And then I realized um, not to ever talk to somebody. By um, um, proceeding, asking me to shake my hand. Try to shake my hand right now. Let's try to do it. Go to the procedure. Go to the procedure. Just go to the procedure. No, it's been like this. So go like this. Hey, congratulations. Good fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. You, you ask me no. Yes. Right. Go ahead. And um, I, think I, won't, was, I won't do it one more time. That was the beginning of that whole intimidating thing. I was a little kid and I realized... You don't talk. Don't talk to them. Um, just look at them like you want to kill them. Do you ever worry that you're being used for how open you can be about the things you've done in your life? I don't know. You're the one give, um, I'm doing the interview. You tell me. That's what I'm asking, because that's kind of a dilemma sometimes with dealing no, with somebody is how much is asking and how much is using. I don't know. Everyone knows me. Like I said before, I'm pretty transparent and stuff, so I figure everyone see who I am anyway. I don't look at the world as if I'm a block wall and no one can see through me. But it feels like this particular process, this feels a little bit uncomfortable and that we're poking at you for book sales and that we're poking and poking, asking you questions. I, I, don't, wonder... think, I, don't, I don't think you're poking at me. Do you feel that you're poking at me? No, well, a little bit. I feel like this, this whole process is not something, you've done it for so long that it's something that's less than enjoyable to you. The idea that we would sit here and in order to sell the book, we continue to ask you questions that you may or may not want to answer. I don't know, I'm asking you everything you tell me. Everything you say, I'm answering them. I'm not avoiding any of your questions. Do you figure that I'm avoiding anything, sir? No, no. no. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. He's a, he's a ignorant little kid, you know what I mean? And um, he's going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level, so I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight, and that's the bottom line. Oh, man, I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, you. Hey, 
Yeah, you know something? I'm not even gonna um, dignify that with a hand. You know why I'm not dignifying that with a hand? So because I'm gonna bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class, and you don't got none of that. Just sweet. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. He learned in talking to some of the people he fought. Look at the look at here. Look at here. Just right laughing at. Him. McNeely on Samsonite cable. No, Sam Salmon. Motherfucker, you're dead. Mm. Ain't that something? Holy this is this is scary. Shit, bro. I don't, I'm not sure. I want that smoke. Is there any? I don't, I don't know if I can handle it. This is where you fuck go. You want to meet some answers? You want to meet people who died recently? You love? Are uh, okay. So, so this is dying. This is dying. This is fuck you, you hoe. Come and stay in my face. Fuck you, ass for that. everybody. You bitch, come on, you bitch. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you, scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me. Really? How you been? All right, I'm gonna let you guys out. Go. You guys have a good day. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Bruh. Boom. Your soul goes here and your body goes here. Oh, no. I'm afraid to, to die at this particular moment in my life. Rip your face off. <laughs> Cut your guts uh. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I... I shoot somebody. No way. <laughs> Someone else is... Please, where do you get this bird from? Oh. Hey man! Hey whoa whoa! Oh. Hey! Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! Oh. God damn! Fuck out of here, my dad! I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. and he can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his armor, boom! And one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. He still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid. But he already made that mistake when he when he looked down for that one tenth of a second. I'm just looking forward to um, expressing a lot of pain. I don't know what anyone feels. My objective is to make my opponent feel my punches. Done. Can I tell you something? After the third round, since you made that statement, after the third round, I saw, I said, oh God, dude, he's not that bad. He's tough and he could punch and all that, but I know he's never been in there with a fighter like me. Plug early, you gotta put this guy on ice early, and are you prepared to go 10? Oh, I'm prepared to go 10, but I don't think he can handle what I throw at him. I'm not Michael Moore. So Mike, what's the prediction? Huh? Watch me fight. Devastation. They charged into me, and no one warned him, no one gave, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. I got children to raise, and this guy keeps butting me. It's our time now. You're going to get Kevin killed. You better stop. You better stop. Um, the first fight. Listen, Holyfield is not the tough warrior everyone says he is. He got little nicks on him there, and he quit. I got an eye. I got one eye. I got one eye, he's not impaired, he got ears. I got one eye, big deal, if he take one, I got another one. I'm ready to fight. He didn't want to fight, I'm ready to fight him right now. When you see him take care of this guy, what's his name again, on December 8th, Mr. Stewart? Then you find out. Oh, he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's gonna be slow, slow night for him. Regardless of what I did, he bit butt me for two fights. But you gotta address it, Mike. Why I did, did address, no, I did address it, I addressed it in the ring. Can nobody put a fear in my heart? No human being. And that's just why I'm no badass and I can't beat the whole world. But no one's gonna walk over me. This happens, I'm just ready to fight. I'm not, you think I um I don't think about think about anything intimidating. I intimidate them by hitting them. I don't intimidate them by staring them in the eye. I fear no man, no mortal, nobody but God, so we can do it again. I would love it. 
I never came in the ring trying to intimidate anybody. I just came in presenting myself. And whatever happened, if that happened, they choose to be intimidated, cool.